Hey guys, it's Sharon here, and I am here today to film a haul video. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Actually, I have, um, a, there's actually two hauls combined into one. Um, I have a bit of a smaller haul, which is a birthday haul, and then I have this package that I just got in the mail today. Yay! And I already took the tape off of it because it's a little hard to open, but um, I'll go ahead and show you the smaller haul first. Um, I got a couple of um, pens for my birthday. Um, my birthday was last week. And I have a couple of Pilot Metropolitan fountain pens. This one here is the one in um, the, uh, the turquoise. And I'll just kind of bring it up to sh show it to you guys. It's a medium nib, and there is the there's always a little um, pattern on the um, on the center band right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully it'll focus. But the nib is a medium nib, and I have, I'll try to get it closer here so that we can see it. I have this inked up with diamine, diamine, diamine aqua blue. And these pens are very inexpensive pens, but they, I mean, they write so nice. And then this one here is the green color. Now this, these new colors that I got are the new ones that came out a few months ago. I think they call them the retro pops. And this one, I think this pattern you can see a little bit better on this band. Um, again, um, it's a medium nib and it's coming, the, the color is coming out a little darker, I think, than what it really is. But anyway, Oh, there we go. That's that's what it looks like. And this one I have inked up with Karen Dosh Vibrant Green in those. All right, so that is my birthday haul that um, my daughter actually got me those pens. So I was really, really excited to get those. And they are nice writers. I mean, they're, you know, it, it's a good starter pen and they write very nicely. I mean, it, it's a, basically the Pilot Metropolitan is a, a $15 pen. And if you're looking for to actually start to get into fountain pens, it's a good way to start. They write very, very super nice. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this package. I guess we're kind of doing a little unboxing too, so we're going to take out the little, the little um, bubble air bubbles. And before I get into the goodies, I'll show you. I'll show you the. Um, the things that they include in with it. We'll get that box out of the way. We have a we have a Goulet Pens sticker. I'll try to try to zoom in so that we can see just a little bit more. All right, there we go. Hopefully that'll work a, a little bit better. So we have a Goulet Pens uh, sticker, and then we also have a Goulet Pens bookmark. They kind of got all their social media and everything on here. Actually, it goes this way. So there's all that. And of course, like all the orders that, that they do at Goulet, they always include a little lollipop. <laughs> so I think I'll give that one to my daughter. And then I have my invoice here, and they always sent, they always write a little personal note on here. It says, uh, thanks Sharon, enjoy your pen, write on. And I think it's, uh, who wrote it was, um... was Craig, I, I can't tell, Craig, I think, and they use diamine uh, coral, I think. So that's that's what the personal note looks like, which is really cool. I love how they do that all the time. All right, so here is the package itself, and it is wrapped in bubble wrap. I bought a pen and some ink samples. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. Now, as always, they wrap it in blue saran wrap. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> And this can be a bit of a challenge getting this off. But we are going to meddle through. Actually, I'll take it out of the camera range to, to do this. I think I may have to rip it. Oh, actually, it's coming off pretty easily. Here's, an, here's another little card that they send you. Um, this is the one that says, um, you know, where it says, I, I packed your order with a slightly ridiculous amount of care. Uh, to make sure that the writing project, pr the writing products you love would arrive safely today. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about how I've done. Um, 
at www.gouletpens.com uh, uh, packing. So this is what it looks like, and then they get um, one of their people to, to sign the little cards. So they always include something like that in the in the order. All right, so we have two bags of ink samples, and the package that I got was the uh, sheening inks. If you go on to the Goulet Pens website, and I will link their website in the description part of this video, they have uh, different ink samples that you can get. You can either join like the Ink Drop subscription that they have every month, or you can um, get different packages or just pick out whatever you want. So I'll show you each of the ink samples, and then we'll get into the real, real good part here. This is Private, Private Reserve Electric DC Blue. Uh, try to try to get it so that we can can't really see it slosh around too much. This is uh, Roar Roar and Kling Klingner, uh, and I can't pronounce this Alt Gold Goldgren Alt Goldgren I think it's kind of a kind of a gold color sort of sort of a sort of a brownish gold I guess. This is uh, Pilot Ira Shizuku Yamabudo. Pilot Ira Shizuku Tsutsuji. And some of these samples, or some of this ink I've already got in bottle form because I have the whole line of the Ira Shizuku inks. I just love them. This is the J. Urban um, Emerald. Oh boy. Emerald. Emerald of Shivar. Emerald of Shivar. This is a 1617 ink. So this is one of those that has the. It's a green ink and it's got the gold flecks in it if you can see it. It's kind of one of those that's got the gold flecks in it so that when you write with it, it kind of shimmers a little bit. So that's what that ink looks like. It's the it's one of the um, anniversary inks, which is nice. I'm looking forward to using that one and seeing what that's going to be like. J. Urban Stormy Gray. And again, this is one of the anniversary inks. And I'll, I'll try to shake it up a little bit so that we can see the, the gold flecks in it. I don't know if that's going to come through real well, though. J. Urban, Rouge Hematite, again, another one of the, the anniversary inks. This is Diamine, Majestic Blue. This is Diamine, Sherwood Green. J. Urban, uh, Blue Ocean. And again, this is one of the, the, the shimmery, flecky inks, the ones with the flecks in it. I don't know how well that's going to come through. Oh, there we go. I think we got it to shimmer a little bit. And it looks like that is all of the inks. Now, I think there are 10 in these. Let me just, um, I'll count them up and make sure. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, there's 10 inks in here, which is awesome. All right, now let's get to the good part. So as I said, I got a um, some ink and a pen got some ink and a pen and I have a Visconti <laughs> this pen is called the Visconti Hall of Music and this is one of the new releases that they've got out and so you take it out of the box and oops there's a little booklet in here that came with it talks about I guess all of the really really beautiful pens and some stuff about their company and all that so uh, typical booklet that comes in with um, with a pen. And then here is the box that it comes in. It's got the Visconti logo on it. So we're going to open it up. Now this is the first time I've seen this, so I'm looking at it with all of you. And this is actually a, a pretty nice box. It's got a, it's got a, um, this is where the pen would rest, but it kind of sort of migrated over that way, but that's okay. And this does not have a secret compartment or anything like some of the boxes do, but here is the pen, and it's in this cellophane thing. Now, I got this in, ooh, I got this in the marble blue color. This is the Hall of Music in marble blue, and it is gorgeous. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, guys, I have to apologize a little bit. Um, I ended up getting uh, disrupted when I was uh, first making this video, um, there was a lot happening around here, and uh, one of our dogs was um, Sheena. Uh, we kind of call her the little varmint, because uh, she can be quite ornery sometimes, and, you know, she can be quite mouthy, and she was kicking up a fuss because there was some stuff going on outside, and and um, her person, you know, had um, 
stepped out for a little bit, so she wasn't very happy. So I had to, um, I had to. It, it's really hard to film when you when you're dealing with the constant barking and stuff. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get a closer look at this pen. So anyway, as I said, this is the Visconti Hall of Music in the marble blue, and it is in the fine nib. Now, um, because I got disrupted and stuff, I actually um, this is going to be. This was originally going to be a haul video, but um, it's going to turn into sort of a little mini review, I guess, because I actually did ink this up last night and I did use this pen. But um, as I was saying while I was got while I gotten interrupted, um, the end part here has got the little Visconti logo thing on here. But if you've got a magnet, you can pull this off, and Visconti has something called the My Pen system, which you can get little jewels and stuff to, um, you know, to swap out. They've got you know all different colors and little. Um, you can even get your initials and stuff on there, so you can kind of personalize this pen just a little bit. Um, they have that with um, a lot of their um, pens. But anyway, this pen takes after. If you're familiar with the Visconti Van Gogh pen, um, it's the same model, I believe. It's just got a different design and it's got music notes on it, obviously. And um, it's about the same price as the Van Gogh. Um, but I do want to get a couple of the Van Gogh ones. Well, I'll just tell you that a couple of things on my wish list. I want to get a couple of the Van Gogh ones and I definitely want to get the Homo sapiens. I'm really, really dying to get that pen. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and look at this one here that's in front of us. This pen um, is, I think, 31 grams, 20 of which are in the actual pen body. So if you if you try to write with it like unposted, you're going to kind of find that it's a little front weighted. And I do have ink in this. I actually inked this up with the with the um, J. Urban Blue Ocean. And of course, I'm like holding it upside down. <laughs> anyway, so you you know you would just write with it this way. But I like to post my pens, which means you push the cap on it and it feels a lot better. It feels a lot more balanced to me when I post it, but I like posting my pens anyway. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at this pen from top to bottom. First of all, it has a magnetic snap cap and it takes a little bit to, you know, to get off, which means it's, it, it's nice because it's not going to come loose on you and you don't have to worry about screwing and unscrewing and you know, a cap and you can just, you can pull this off pretty easily. So, um, as I said, I got this in the fine nib. Now this is a, um, stainless steel fine nib and I'm going to try to get where I can show it to you guys. Okay. It looks like everything is focusing a lot better. There we go. So that is the fine nib in the steel version of this. Um, they make palladium nibs, which they call it the, the dream touch nib. And you find that on the homo sapiens and some of their, um, more expensive ones. Um, but this, as I said, I did get to play with this last night and it writes so nice. I mean, this is a very, very smooth nib. Um, they have this in fine, medium and broad, I think. Um, but as I said, I have it in fine cause I prefer, I prefer, um, a fine to a medium line. And, um, and this it's, it writes so nice. It's so smooth and just, oh man, I just, I love it. So anyway, on the, on the grip, uh, if I can get it to focus on the grip, we have a treble clef as we can see. And then on, I think the section here, we have some music notes. It's not wanting to focus real well. Brian Goulet put a quick look video up on his channel and He's got <laughs> he's got a better video set up than I do, um, so I'm really not doing it justice. But I'll try to try to do the best I can. Um, very very nice polished, I guess um, section. Oh, there we go. The notes are coming through just a little bit. And then on the um, center band right here, I'll put the cap on so that maybe we can see it a little better. On the center band. We've got the same musical score or tune or whatever. You can kind of see it a little bit. Um, we've got the same. It's it's going to be too far away if I put it down there. It's got the same musical score notes or whatever that that's on the grip section. There we go. It's kind of kind of focusing a little bit, but um, it does have the the music notes in those two places. It's got the little spring clip right here, as I said before. Uh, and then, of course, it's in this really, really pretty blue color. You can, it's ridged a little bit right through here and on the cap just a little bit. And this is what the other end of it looks like, just kind of a polished 
um, end right there. So very, very pretty pen. It's not a starter pen by any means. Um, it's um, kind of a mid-range, I guess, priced pen. Um, yeah, so if you're if you're kind of looking for that next step to go into the mid-range and you want something kind of just real you know, neat looking, like real classic looking, this is a, this is a good pen to get. Um, it's not as bright or, um, vibrant, I guess, as, as uh, some of the Viscontis are. Like, you know, they're, Visconti is always coming out with limited editions and stuff like that. And I mean, some of those, I mean, they're, you know, they're beautiful pens, but some of them are just, <laughs> I have to say, some of them are just a little bit over the top for my liking. You know, they're just a little bit too much, if you know what I mean. Um, but this is just, um, neat looking. It's, it's just got, to me, it's just got enough of a, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It's, it's just got enough of, of, of the fancy or ornate design, I guess, to really suit me, um, for lack of any better words. But I really, really, really love this pen. I think this is going to be one of my superstars, actually. I mean, ergo, music notes, but, um, I mean, it's just, it's going to be one of my superstars. And I will show you, actually, actually, I think it's pretty cool. I'll have to go get it. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I have a really, really cool combination with this because I have the pen with music notes, and you guys know I love music notes. And, of course, I am still writing in my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Duchess of Journal that I got from Barnes & Noble um, a couple of years back. And so, journal with music notes pen with music notes, I'm all set. <laughs> if, you, if you know that you love fountain pens and if you want just something just real sort of classy looking, I guess, and if you like music, um, this would be your pen to get. And they have them in, um, now I just have it in the blue, but they have it in other colors. They have it in purple. Um, they have a sparkling burgundy and then there is a graphite black. And I don't have, um, this is the only one that, this is the only one that I have right now. This is um, a pricey enough pen that I don't think I could afford to get all four colors, unfortunately, as much as I would love to. But so I had to kind of pick and choose which one I like the best. And this blue one is really, really nice. I mean, it is so pretty. I, I can't say enough about this pen. Um, this is the very first Visconti I've ever had. And so far, you know, I'm really, really loving it. Oh, something funny I have to tell you. Um, what, you know, what's really funny is my husband really isn't a fan of, well, he doesn't have any of these, but, you know, he doesn't really like um, you know, the Visconti, I guess, isn't really his thing, but, you know, he took a look at this pen and, and, you know, he tried it out and, and he liked how it wrote, but, you know, he even, even the picture I showed before I even got the pen and, and then I showed him the pen when I got it, um, even he had to admit it was neat. You know, he actually liked it. I was very, very pleasantly, pleasantly surprised, very pleased and very pleasantly surprised that, that he actually thought it was neat because, you know, normally this kind of pen just isn't his thing. So, um, you know, Visconti, there's something to be said about that. You've, you've, imp you've impressed my husband and he's kind of a hard sale, especially when it comes to modern pens because he's a total vintage nut. So anyway, um, that is the look and a little mini review of the Visconti Hall of Music in Marble Blue, the fine nib. If you guys want to see like some writing samples or something, um, just let me know in the comments and I will do that. So if you want to see more like this, um, haul videos or like fountain pen related or anything like that, you know, um, you can do that by subscribing to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video and we'll talk to you guys all later. Okay, bye guys.